Good morning and welcome to Morning Prayer on Friday the 9th of October. Uh, you probably would have got used to me by now usually doing something a bit different and that's uh, simply because we're all different aren't we and we have different ways that we like to, to pray or to come to God and many of you will tune in particularly to hear the traditional form of prayer each morning and I'm guessing those of you that do that do have the app so that you can do that yourselves anytime um, this morning or whenever you usually do it. Um, I would love for you today just to sit with me a while as we look together at something a little different today. So I'm going to be reading today um, from some Franciscan prayers. Um, it's from a website called Franciscan Spirit and it's Talking to God Morning Prayers. So um, I'm going to just say a few words that are on here uh, of instruction and then some prayers and then we'll have some time of silence together. So the writer begins with this. The mood with which we begin the day tends to colour the entire day. What Francis understood is that starting the day with God in mind leads to keeping God in mind throughout the day. The moment we awaken, we can choose the tone of our day. We can decide to be tired and negative about the day ahead, or we can choose to be strong and positive. As our feet touch the floor, it's the perfect time to think positive. Place yourself in the Lord's presence in the first moments of each day. You will discover the whole day improves with that small offering talk to him he waits for you in the stillness in the silence of your heart speak let's just be still for a moment we greet the lord as we rise so that we may offer our first thought, our fresh words, to the one who can carry us through our busy day. Before our feet hit the floor, or our children rise, or our minds are filled with the busy events of the day, we take a moment to talk to our gracious God. Good morning, Lord. I offer to you my day, all of my joys and my sufferings, my cares and my concerns, my accomplishments and my failures. All that I have, all that I do, is yours. Keep me in your care. Guide me in my actions. Teach me to love and help me to turn to you throughout the day. The world is filled with temptations. As I move through my day, keep me close. May those I encounter feel your loving presence. Lord, be the work of my hands and feet. Amen. Another prayer, I give myself to you. We had to learn to look at our daily lives, at everything that crossed our path each day with the eyes of God. Lord, open my mind that I may be aware of your presence in my daily life. Open my heart that I may offer you all my thoughts. Open my mouth that I may speak to you throughout my day. I am grateful that you wish to hear my voice. To you I give my all. Help me to do your will every hour of every day. Isn't it amazing to think that God longs to hear our voice? Wherever we are, at whatever time of the day, whether we're washing up or cooking or walking the dog. God longs to meet us right where we're at, whether we're happy or, or sad, distressed or anxious. We can talk to him at any point. We don't have to be sitting in a certain position or even having a th certain thought. Even when we are feeling like he's not there, we can say, I feel like you're not there. Isn't it amazing that he longs to hear our voice. Give me grace today. Nothing 
how little, how small, nothing, how little, so ever it be, if it is suffered for God's sake, can pass without merit in the sight of God. Thomas a Kempis. And the prayer. Lord, give me the grace for today. Before me the day looms with great possibilities and even greater challenges. I put it all in your hands. Order my day and order my life. Help me to embrace every challenge, to be open to you, to, up, to, to be open to all you have to give and to see all as opportunity. One moment at a time, one person at a time, one gift at a time. Help me to breathe in your spirit and to excel any fear that may cause me to question and to worry. The world causes stress and you offer peace. I choose you. Amen. Another way of praying that we learn on the prayer course is that whole uh, exercise as is, is prayed in that prayer is breathing in God. Just breathing out the woes of the world. And just some words to finish with. Some words from Proverbs 5, uh, Proverbs 3 verses 5 to 6. The verse says this. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not rely on your own insight. In all your ways acknowledge him and he will make straight your paths. And a little word. How often do we question ourselves when we're trying to do something right? How often do we find ourselves fearful of the consequences of our actions despite our best efforts? In the words of St. John Paul II, do not be afraid. The God who loves us enough to die for us can be trusted to care for our every need. All he asks in return is acknowledgement. Offer this little prayer of St. Faustina Kualaskia. Jesus, I trust you. Jesus, I trust you. Jesus, I trust you. I pray that you have a fantastic weekend and in those times when you can't find the words to pray, when you don't feel like praying, simply perhaps utter those words. Jesus, I trust you. Jesus, I trust you. Jesus, I trust you.